بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے ان دس ٹیٹوریل وی ول ڈسکس دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین کنسٹرکٹ ڈفرینٹ کائنڈز آف ارتھمیٹک کمانڈز ان مٹس بیشی پی ایل سی ہاؤ وی کین ڈیل وتھ ڈفرینٹ کائنڈز آف ارتھمیٹک کمانڈز لائک ایڈیشن سبٹریکشن ملٹیپلیشن اینڈ ڈویژن ہاؤ وی کین یوز arithmetic commands in Mitsubishi PLCs. After that, we will discuss the inequalities less than equal to, greater than equal to, less than, greater than. These commands will also be discussed in this tutorial. So stay tuned with me so that you can learn everything. Before proceeding further in this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification for every new video. in this tutorial. First of all, we will take an input in GX developer software with X0 and use the instruction command to move an a value into a register MOV space K2 space D0. When I press this X0 on, this value K2 will be moved to register D0. Now I take another value with the input as X1. With the, this is instruction command, instruction, instruction application. Move K6. D1. So these are the two values on which we will perform our mathematical operations. When you convert, write this program to PLC, First of all, we will check its port, whether it is connected properly or not. The COM4 connection test, its port is not identified. So, we will connect its port to our PLC, to our, to our laptop. Its port is not connected yet. So, I will connect. this port with my laptop so this is connected you'll check yes it is now successfully connected okay online write to plc this program is now being transferred to plc yes this is transferred to our plc and we will check in monitor mode when i turn this x0 on this video k2 and memory location K2 will be moved to register D0 and this video K6 will be moved to D1. Yes, K2 is moved to D0, 6 is moved to D1. Now this value will be stored in the registers D0 and D1. Now we will complete We will go further in this program and perform different mathematical operations. Take an input x2 application instruction add d0 d1 to d2 So this when when x2 is pressed it will add the value of d0 and d1 and put the resulted value the result of these two in d2 so 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 8 will be appeared here now we'll take another input 
x3 perform the other arithmetic operation subtract d1 d0 d3 so this will subtract the value of d0 from d1 and the result will be placed in d3 taking another input x4 and application instruction command multiply d0 space d1 space d4 so this will multiply the value of d0 with d1 and the result will be placed in d4 another input x5 application instruction divide div is the command which is used for division divide d1 d2 d1 is divided by d2 the result will be placed in register d5 so you can check it first of all we will convert this program online right to plc program pass parameter execute yes 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 this program is now loaded to the plc memory you check whether it is working or not going to monitor mode to check its value you can see that when i press x0 two is moved to the register d0 when i pressed x1 sorry when we i pressed x1 six is moved to the register d1 when i press x2 this has this application instruction add has added the value of d0 and d1 and the result is placed in d2 when i press x3 it will add the value of, it will subtract the value of d0 from d1 and place the result in the register d3 s yes. the 4 6 minus 2 is 4 which is placed in d3 when i press x4 it will multiply the value of d0 with d1 and the result 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 which is placed in register d4 when i when i press press x5 it will divide d1 can't be divided with d2 so d1 and d0 there there is there is no value in d2 so we will change its value going its right mode d2 d2 has the result of this addition therefore the values which we have stored on which we will perform operation this is d0 d0 space d1 the result will be placed in d5 so now convert this program online right to plc we have stored our values in d0 and d1 and we will perform our operation on these two values we will check it out whether it is working or not yes d0 has the value 2 and d1 has the value 6 2 is not divisible by 6 therefore there should on this place we will place d1 and on this place we will place d0 
which will be divisible. So these values will further be changed so that we can divide these two values. First write d1 and then d0. This is d1 and this is d0. Now this program is correct and we will convert this program right to PLC program pass parameter execute execute right to PLC yes after stop remotely is the PLC writing executed yes P, now this program is stored into the PLC memory and we will check it out whether it is working or not when I press X5 you can see that 6 is divided by 2 and the result is placed in 3 So, all the mathematical operations have been performed in this program. Now, we will move further and perform on, on perform inequalities operations. Less than equal to, greater than equal to, less than, greater than. So, we will go into the right mode delete the these lines delete row delete line delete line delete line delete line so we have deleted the previous commands now we will implement some other commands using the, the, these two registers d0 and d1 for this purpose we will take an input x2 and attach inequalities command with this input for this purpose we will take instruction command and write here less than equal to d0 d1 When the value of d0 is less than or equal to d1, the output should be on. The output is y0 or y1. This output y1 will be on. When this inequality is true, output will be turned on. When it is false, output will be off. Take another input x3, another application instruction greater than equal to d0 d1 d0 space d1 after equal to there should be space the output y2 will be attached with it. So, when this inequality greater than equal to d0 is greater than or equal to d1, the output will be turned on when this inequality is true. When it is false, output will be turned off. x4, the input, will use here application instruction with less than command d0 space d1 output will be y3 taking another input for greater than command x5 
greater than equal to t0 here we will take first t1 which is greater than t0 so that the inequality turned true y4 is the output we can also use the equal to the sign of equal to for comparison taking an input x5 x6 here and use the sign of equal to whether the value of d0 or d1 it will compare the value of d0 and d1 then these two values are equal the output will be done on output is y5 okay now uh, first of all i will convert this program let's write this program to plc program plus parameter execute execute write to plc after stop remotely is the plc writing executed yes plc state is stop is the remote run executed yes so we will check first of all going to online and the monitor mode is this value 2 is moved to the register d0 and k and n6 value is moved to register d1 when we turn on x2 it will compare the value of d0 and d1 as we can see that d0 is less than 6 d, d0 is less than d1 2 is less than 6 so this y1 should be on i press x2 you can see that output is turned on now we will check x3 when i press x3 it will check for the value greater than when the value of d0 is greater than d1 the output will be turned on you can see that d, d0 is less than d6 so this inequality is not true so output will not glow yes you can see that output is not turned on when i press x4 it will check the value of d0 and compare whether it is less than d1 or not if it, it, it is less than d1 we can see that 2 is less than 6 so, so output will glow when I turn this x4 on so you can see that output is turned on for x5 it is again true as 6 is greater than 2 so when I press x5 output will be turned on and for the value of x6 when I press x6 it will compare the value of d0 and d1 when these two values are equal output will be turned on otherwise output will be will remain off so i press x6 and i see that output is not turned on because this is not true when it becomes true the output will be turned on so these are the different kinds of inequalities that we can handle in mitsubishi plc's to compare the two values compare the two values into different registers when the values changes comes closer to one another then the we will we can turn some things on we can operate something we can perform different kinds of functions on the outputs to using by using these values i think you have learned something very new with these with this special tutorial so stay tuned with me and see all the tutorials you can learn in these tutorials the programming method how we can program a plc how we can use different kinds of instructions in the mitsubishi plc's thank you so much for watching this video